Hello grade and learners and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka pala sa channel ko, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification bell para updated ka every time na magpo-post ako ng bagong video. So for today's video lesson, I will be discussing about combinations. So what is the difference between permutations and combinations? So ganito lang 'yan. Pag sinabi nating permutations, Order is important. So, napakahalaga ng order. So, meron tayong iba't ibang klase ng permutations wherein kinoconsider natin yung arrangements or yung order. While in combinations, order is not important. So, we need also to understand uh, very well what combination is because there are certain problems na nakakalito kung ano ba yung gagamitin mo. Whether permutations of n objects taken R at a time, or kaya naman combinations of n object uh, taken R at a time. So, tatandaan lang na kapag kailangan ng order, permutation yon. Kapag naman hindi kailangan ng combination uh, ng order, combination yon. So, let's have the mathematical concept. Ano ba yung formula na gagamitin natin when we are talking about combinations? And of course, before we solve certain... Uh, such problems, kailangan muna natin mag-evaluate. So, paano nga ba mag-solve or mag-evaluate ng isang combination? So, the number of different arrangements of n objects using R is less than or equal to n of them in which 1. The n objects are distinct. Number 2. Once an object is used, it cannot be repeated. And, three, order is not important. And the formula that we are going to use is combinations of n objects taken R at a time is equal to n factorial all over R factorial times the quantity of n minus R factorial. And then, we are going to evaluate first Combinations of seven objects taken one at a time. That would be combination of eight objects taken three at a time. And for the last but not least, combination of six objects taken six at a time. So let's start the first one. So first, combination of seven taken one at a time, or a combination of seven objects taken one at a time. So, we are going to use the formula. So, that is, our n is 7, that is 7 factorial over so, we have 7 factorial over our r is 1, so that is 1 factorial times the quantity 7 minus 1 factorial. Again, we just substitute with a given formula. So, our n is 7. So, that is 7 factorial. All over our r is 1 factorial times the quantity 7 minus 1 factorial. Equal. So, simplify mo muna natin yung denominator. So, 7 factorial over 1 factorial. So, 7 minus 1 is 6 factorial. So, we can rewrite the numerator with a factor of 6 factorial. So, para makancel na natin itong 6 factorial. So, that is 7 times 6 factorial over 1 factorial, 6 factorial. Again, we are going to rewrite the numerator with a factor of 6 factorial para makancel natin yung 6 factorial sa, sa denominator. So, cancel. So, 1 factorial is 1. So, 7. So, combination of 7 taken 1 is 7 divides 1 factorial is 7. So, we can check this using a scientific calculator. So, how are we going to do that? So, press 7. And then, shift. Hanapin natin yung uh, NCR. Ito. Itong nasa division sign. Ayan. So, that is for combination. And then, 1. Press 1. 
and then equals so 7 so let's have another example so our n is 8 so that is 8 factorial over our r is 3 so 3 factorial times the quantity 8 minus 3 factorial so that is 8 factorial so let us simplify the denominator so 3 factorial 8 minus 3 is 5 factorial okay so notice yung ating denominator ay malaki yung 5 factorial so para mas uh, dumate yung ating value ng ating isasolve so we need to write the numerator with a factor of 5 factorial so this can be written as 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 factorial over 3 factorial 5 factorial so we can cancel 5 factorial and then 3 factorial so that is 3 times 2 times 1, that is equal to 6. Again, 3 factorial is equal to 6. So, we can cancel 6 and 3 factorial. So, therefore, 8 times 7 is 56. So, combination of 8 taken 3 is 56. So, let us check using scientific calculator. So, just press 8 and then shift itong division sign so for the combination and then press 3 then equals so we have here 56 so we will get the same answer and for our last example so we have here 6 factorial over 6 factorial times the quantity 6 minus 6 factorial so, equal 6 factorial over 6 factorial. 6 minus 6 is 0 factorial. Equals 6 factorial over 6 factorial. So, 0 factorial, that is equivalent to 1. So, therefore, 6 factorial over 6 factorial, since our numerator and denominator are the same, that is equal to 1. So, combination of 6 taken 6 or taken all at a time. So, this can be read as combination of 6 taken all at a time. Kasi parehas lang naman siya yung n at r. So, let us check. So, that is 6. Then, shift combination. Then, 6. So, ang lalabas ay 1. So, that's it for today. So, I hope that you learned something about evaluating combinations. And on my next video, so we will be solving such problems regarding combination. So, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with others. So, thank you for watching and see you on my next video lesson.